Good evening, Panther fans. Here at Bank of America Stadium, where the Carolina Panthers just defeated the Baltimore Ravens 36-21. to Chris Jenkins headed down to the locker room to catch the players and their reactions right here. Coach Eric Washington just dialed up you know, a good defense, and we stunned it. And the kind of scheme that they ran, it was nobody there for me. So I just had to make a play when, when, it, was, when it was time to make a play. You know, your eyes get, get kind of big. You know, it's like when you're playing baseball and the, the pitcher just lob your ball up there. So I'm just happy that I was there to make the play when I could. It was definitely complete. The uh, only thing we didn't do is stop them. We, we finished the game on the field, which we, we don't like, and uh, we gave up points um, at the end. That's something that we don't like to do. We try to keep teams 17 points or less, and uh, we fell short of that. What do you feel was the key for that as far as the complete game today from the guys? Oh, we just came out, we executed. Uh, even the first drive, uh, we didn't play well. We didn't get off the field on third down. And um, we just didn't play well enough, you know, on the first drive. But after that, I feel like we just locked in and started playing fast, started trying to get off the field. Got a couple turnovers that fell our way. And, um, and it's got, that, that's what happened from there. <laughs> Jackson was in there at quarterback. It seemed like it took you guys to make a moment to make some adjustments. Yeah. It, would that be accurate about that? Um, nah, we, we, were, we were ready for it. Uh, we just had some, some miscues. We, were, we, we prepared for them all week. We knew that they was going to try to splash them in a little bit on, on their offensive game plan. And it just was the, the object of when they was going to try to do it. And uh, I think some of the times they did it just caught us a little bit off guard. But um, I think towards the end of the game, we were was, was able to, to, to lock in on that. Was well, this a pretty group of shifty wide receivers and running yeah. backs? Or yeah. Normal. Were they more than normal? Yeah, most definitely. Um, explosive offense. Explosive offense. A quarterback who can make every throw. Receivers who can get up the field. And uh, that was really mostly what we saw on, on film. And um, that's really what we what we prepared for this week. So we got we, we, we locked on. We play man to man a lot. And uh, we just were sticking to the game plan. A few weeks ago, I was so concerned about the two fumbles you had against mm -hmm. Washington. You think that should be erased at this point? Or? No, I mean, it was a learning lesson for me, so at the end of the day, I'm going to go through things as a rookie, but I don't really look at it as a bad thing, but just a learning experience. Uh, just to go out there and just show what I was capable of. Uh, throughout the week, they, uh, I trusted uh, everybody would believe in me, so and they believed in me today, so I just had to go out there and execute. Did you get a sense during practice that you were going to get more opportunities this week? Yeah, it was it was split between me and uh, Curtis. So with us two, it, it really wouldn't matter who went out there because we all playmakers in that one room. And we're back from the locker room. So Chris, this offense was amazing today. They put up 36 points against the number one defense in the league. Um, you were excited in the press box about it. Tell me about those thoughts in that moment, and and what were you thinking? <laughs> I was I was really happy. Remember, I said like I don't even have to go through details. I just want to talk about how happy I am that C.J. Anderson not only played but he got carries. I think he had what five carries. I didn't look at all my notes before we started. Uh, D.J. Moore led the team in receptions and and, and targets like from from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And then Curtis Samuel getting into it. I don't know what his final stats was, but I know when I looked late in the fourth quarter, he had three targets, and I just feel like. That combination of, like, at times we'd have DJ Moore, Devin Funches, Curtis Samuels out there. But, like, that's the team that could give us the exciting game that we had today. Like, before today, I was like, it's going to be a close game. But the game turned out completely not how it was expected because we used weapons that we hadn't used all year. So, yeah, I was excited to see that. All right, now, keeping it with the offense, do you think that this team gives you some playoff vibes? Definitely after today's victory, right? I mean, 36, 37 points to, like, I mean, I feel, definitely feel confident about the playoffs. I know we talked about that earlier. I feel real confident about it. Okay, now, Torrey Smith was out today. How yeah. are you working back into the offense next week? I think and hope that we just go this whole veteran leadership kind of role. Like, we just needed his presence in the locker room, a.k.a. we don't have to make sure that he gets his snaps. So I hope that he's really kept back on the snaps and I really think at this point uh, DJ Moore talking to him in the locker room today this guy really says a little bit right but today after in the locker room like DJ had that that smile to him right like he's you could tell he's, he's getting happier he's getting more confident so for that reason I really hope that we just let Tori just just be in the locker room for now just be in the locker room Tori we like you though <laughs> Now, leading back to defense, uh, talk a little bit about these interceptions, fumble recoveries, and defense just did everything and more today. They look <laughs> like the number one defense. 
they did. They looked great. And, you know, I'm guilty of not getting all my notes together because I was, like, happy and talking in the locker room. But I'm going to try to talk about it. I know we had interceptions by, by, by Mike Adams, who, by the way, he ran backwards because, you know, that was a negative seven yards. So, yo, Mike, what's up with that? He said that he was going to pitch the ball, and he, he didn't have the opportunity, so he had to uh, hold that in. So, But Mike Adams interception, Captain Mullen with the interception, and Kyle Love, the way that he came through on that play, he said that was just the way it was designed, and they knew that, that would happen. And getting that forced fumble, defense is really playing good, and as Captain said, it's, it was a really pretty much a complete game. So for that very beginning, when they had to adjust with Jackson being in there, you know, saying that that just does takes them out their game just for a second, because I mean they were using Jackson the way I don't think they've used him much. It's usually been automatic running. He was doing quite a few things in there today. So defense is looking pretty good. All right, guys, that is it here at Bank of America. Again, the Carolina Panthers defeated the Baltimore Ravens 36-21. to I hope you guys have enjoyed today's game and enjoyed our post game. Please, as always, like and subscribe and push the notification button, that little bell. So every time that Chris uploads a video, you guys get an email and can run over to YouTube and check us out. Again, we thank you, Charlotte Vibe, Chris Jenkins, and Kiara Luck. We will see you next week against the Bucks. You all stay safe. And as always, keep pounding.